Hello again, Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games. Back for a new video with a shiny new camera. So starting with uh, Army Painter Ultramarine Blue. This is a Space Marine Captain in Terminator armor. And this particular sculpt is part of the uh, Start Collecting set. So kind of just the basic default equipment of a Power Sword and a Storm Bolter there. Alright, a little room. I've got too many uh, things in the way. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, now. In Warhammer 40,000, captains are in charge of a single company of typically 100 Space Marines, and Terminator armor, also called Tactical Dreadnought armor, is the heaviest armor a Space Marine can wear, because, well, they're completely intact, and I'm, of course, speaking of the uh, Dreadnought, but typically it's reserved for veterans of the first company. First companies of Space Marine chapters always consist of the veterans. But it's getting a bit into the lore there, but um, hmm. there might be music playing during this at some point. I'm playing around with the library YouTube just put up of uh, copyright free music. <clears throat> but Terminator armor can handle teleportation, allowing these guys to pop up just about anywhere you want. And the captain version has an invulnerable. Well, actually, I think the Terminator armor has invulnerable save in general. I have to double check. This is the only Terminator I've got right this minute. That'll change eventually, but this badge on the shoulder. There's a specific name for it. I can't think of it right now. I'd have to double check the fiction, but. It's made of stone and purportedly contains a piece of the armor the Emperor himself wore. Okay. Using a larger brush to uh, get the biggest surface area first, I'll go down to a smaller one soon. Okay, let's see here. Let's get a little bit of the underarm there. This is a model that really only went together one way, but I did have a choice of heads. All right, I'm going to have to let that dry for a bit before moving on, but so far, so good. Okay, next up, some of this is still wet, so I'm going to have to limit myself. Where is it? Olive Skin 09221. And what can I say? I like to mix up the skin tones a bit. Scoop the camera back just a little bit. And yeah, he's got a uh, bionic eye there. So, what else can I do right this minute? Oiled leather 09110. So, while I uh, am only collecting and playing Ultramarines, I am tempted to get the special characters from the other chapters, at least the ones listed in the Space Marines Codex. So, I may or may not end up doing uh, that. I haven't decided yet, and it would be a low priority if I did. Some scraps that could uh, conceivably be made out of leather. And 
And then what else? I don't want to go there, so let's see. How about... Take old bronze 09197. Just a touch. I'm just going to pick out the bolter shells in the magazine of the storm bolter here. And then, let's see. I think I can go ahead and do that. Taking where is it? 09089 Cloudy Gray. Get started on the stonework he's standing on. And the badge on his shoulder. It's Crux something. I'd have to, I'll have to check the lore and see what it says. It does have a specific name and does specify it's carved out of stone. Oh, and I'm not even in camera, how good he. Well, at least this uh, is working a little better for focusing. Still, I need to get used to it. At least on this model, the lens is dead center, not off to the side like the old one. stuff is dry. <clears throat> 09026 Violet Red. Let's turn the volume of my speakers down. It's some feedback. Bad form to uh, split the skull of the viewer with horrible, horrible sound. I'll probably pick out the trim on the cloth in another color as I finish up. There was a tricky little bit here. But I don't or maybe it was a seventh piece, I'm not certain. I'm just gonna roll with it. And I nicked the thigh there. I'll have to take a little water and just dilute that, soak up. Okay, just got it cleaned up. All right. Just keep your brush nice and wet. That's all you need to do for the base coats. You can see that. Hmm. Maybe somewhere in. Uh, let's see here. This spot right there looks a little ambiguous as to what it's supposed to be, but I'm not going to worry about it right this second. That nice long cape fluttering in the breeze. 
as our stalwart captain gets ready to purge the enemies of the Imperium. And then, whoa, throw my paints. That's not it. There we go, Stormy Gray 09088. Started on his storm bolter. So there are definitely components to this. I will be uh, repainting as I get closer to finished. Then I want to go. Oh, yeah, the uh, body glove. There's not much of that visible on the Terminator, but huh. In fact, it's just the elbow there that's where the underlying uh, body glove is visible. Okay. So, so I think that's good enough for. This call now. Wait, I'll go ahead and get the cables going from the arms to the gauntlet. Go ahead and do that. That's a good color as any for, I suppose. Let that dry move on a bit. Okay, so then I do some parchment next. 09143 yellowed bone. Whoop. Alright, what do you do with my brush? There it is. And these purity seals. Supposedly help to ward off demons, but the thing about uh, Warhammer 40,000 is it is a science fantasy game that actually has demons in it. And there's one back here. This is what was thrown me off earlier. I wasn't sure what this was part of, but I've got it figured out now. Then how about... That's the wrong one. There it is. Antique Gold 09050. The Emperor's favorite color. Okay. All sorts of trinkets and honors on here. And not just a captain, but a captain wearing Terminator armor. seal. <sighs> Missed a second purity seal. That's frustrating.
suppose this is the highest uh, space ranking space marine I've painted. And then the iconography on top. So that stone badge is the Crux Terminatus. I looked it up between takes. There are cutouts in this, so just trying to blow the excess paint out so it doesn't get stuck in there and muck up what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's see, go back there, that's good. Back there. I'm trying to take it slow now so I don't miss anything else. Okay. It's like all the iconography, so let's get the power sword. And like all power weapons, this sword would be sheathed in lethal energy when activated. In the book Calgar's Fury, there's a part where a Terminator equipped with a power fist severs wires just by turning his fist on and touching them with his fingers. Hmm. Okay. So taking 09002 Deep Red, we'll finish up the purity seals. What's going on here? Uh, hmm. Testing? What's going on here? Um. Oh, no. Okay. Well, my computer's having a little conniption, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this and try again. Okay, that was weird. So, Tarnished Steel 09206. Let's try this again. See if it plays nice this time. Good grief. Can I get this on his bionic eye? I literally have no idea what my camera did, but it just stopped, kept dropping frames. I, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm just going to finish this up so I can figure it out later. And just to add some visual interest, we'll go ahead and go over the back of the bolt, or the storm bolter. Excuse me, getting the right weapon name here. This is kind of a standard Terminator weapon. It's just a double-barreled bolt gun. Derived from uh, just grabbing two bolt guns together. More or less. But then again, the Storm Bolter is six bolt guns. Fire link and put together, so. And yeah, the word exterminatus does appear on the blade here, which is the word for nuking a planet and basically blasting it into gravel.
Okay. Okay, that's base coats. Let it dry completely and uh, move on to shading. But there's one thing I forgot to do, and that's take that gold here and forgot the icon on the gun. Now we're good. Let it dry. Start shading. Okay, time to start shading. Let's see, starting off with. Black and Steel 09205. I think I might have my uh, speakers up a bit too loud again. I gotta watch that. Get the bionic eye. Make sure I'm in camera view. <laughs> then the purity seals, at least the wax on them is brick red brick is zero nine zero zero one. water for your shade. There. The bag has got a double one. I'm pretty sure I can make the form. That's why I keep the paper towel on hand. And then Have to wait for a bit and let that dry. Okay, Ancient Bronze 09049. This is a new pot, so. Hmm. Okay, paint. Unfortunately, I'm starting to feel kind of funny right now, getting over a bug, so if I start to uh, cough like a uh, car with a bad carburetor, don't mind it. Then get the parchment with stained ivory, 09142. Oh, there's a lot of that. Just a few purity seals here and there. the iconography on the firearm again. Okay. Let's see if so I'll go ahead and get the skin tone with olive skin shadow 09220 which is clogged. So paper clip. And 
and unplugged. I'm going to do one more before I cut. It's going to be Stormy Gray 09088. I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to get the uh, stone separate from the Crocs Terminalis badge. So I'm just going to do a badge right here and now. Let that dry and move on. <clears throat> Next up, zero nine one zero nine buddy leather. Not much of that's needed. About half paint, half water again. We're just gonna there. There on that uh, bandolier or sling. I don't know the technical word for what that strap would be. It's for securing the weapon. Okay, and then I can go ahead. Okay. Burgundy Wine 09025. safe to get his cloak. Pure black zero nine zero three seven. I think I can do this too. I'll get some wires and metal. Using black as a shader, you're gonna need at least two uh, parts paint, two parts water to one part paint, just so that you don't drown out other details too much. It's really easy to do that with using just straight black as a shader. This is kind of tricky the way he's holding the storm bolter, but this particular model can only be posed one way. Okay. Let's see here. Not quite ready to do lighting effects yet, so hold off a minute. Computers are on one nine six. This just go 
those on the boulder shells. Let's open our little cup in there. And Ultramarine Shadow 09187. Make the loveliest sounds when they're running low. And sarcasm was implied. I'm just, <laughs> I get monotone, I get ill. And the captain here has so many honors on him. Not much of the breastplate visible at all. And I realized I missed his uh, elbow here when I did the black earlier, so I'll have to just nick that off camera real quick. Careful not to nick the crux terminata, so I'm doing this. Black again, just real quick. Nick the elbow here, I missed. Then taking pure white 09039, we'll get the lighting effect set up. Carefully dot in that bionic eye and the sensors on the backpack. Then dilute it a bit. And filling it along the power sword. Okay. 
and that for shading is just going to leave the lighting effects and the gray on the bottom. So, just about there. Okay, lighting effect. And the last shade. So, blood red 09003, tiny dot. and bionic eye there. Sensors. And I'll take pure white again before I get ahead of myself because I need to get his other eye. Excuse me. Sparkling blue zero nine one zero four. Not what I need, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. Going most of that line of white there. It's a pull up in the exterminatus word on the blade. Clicking sound that keeps coming up is I don't even know if you can hear it or not, but we'll just roll with it. I'll take a pure black 0937 real quick. Whoa, almost messed up my shading there. Carefully get a pupil and get some barrels onto his. Storm Boulder. And I'll take the Stormy Gray 09088. Quick shade on the rocks he's standing on. Say rock, probably rock crate. It's just a building material they use in the 41st millennium. Okay. Not that drawing, we'll start the highlighting and details. Okay. Time to highlight. Olive skin highlight 09222. True Silver 09207. I guess that's all right. Zero nine one nine eight tarnished brass. Let's see. 
yeah, Cloudy Gray 09089. Ultramarine Highlight 09189. <coughs> Excuse me. Zero nine zero two seven pale violet red. Zero nine one 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 burnt orange. Just clogged up. So quick jab with a paper clip. It's more than I'm gonna need. You gotta watch that on uh, clogged bottles. You always risk. Some, oh shoot. Um, okay. You always you always risk some kind of a overflow. New gold zero nine zero five one.
09144 Creamy Ivory. Blood Red 09003. Gray zero nine zero nine zero. Get the Crux Terminatus. Quick dust up of the base. And that's highlights. Now, let that dry and then hit some details. All right, finishing up with pure black 09037. Taking a fine tipped brush, and this is not easy. Squiggles on the purity seals. And if you're actually able to write this tiny with a paintbrush, you have my infinite respect. It is not easy. I have tried many, many times before. <laughs> Some squiggles are better than others, but uh, touch up those. Uh, Barrels in the storm boulder and I'm gonna attempt to put my crag on this. Trying to write a name on that didn't work out so well. It is not easy to write at that scale, again with a brush, so no points off for trying though. And trial and error is the only way you get better at anything. So we'll go ahead and line the base using a flat brush. He doesn't go far enough to worry about making the uh, basing that's already there. Okay. Now once that dries completely, I can uh, put some towels on it. Okay. Turn that down a bit. I managed to forget an important part of the iconography. So pure white zero nine zero three nine.
go. And out of base. So, white glue and plenty of it. In this case, I'm using a rock debris or talus. And then a beat up brush. This will wreck them pretty quickly. the glue with water and plenty of it. Keeping your brush wet. And carefully painting around the base and feet. I'm not as right with this one. And going forward I might switch to a uh, custom sculpted basing. So I've been doing a lot of other models lately. At least ones that don't have any kind of tab or slot in the base. And give it a dip into the basic material. And taking a dry brush, brushing it away from anywhere you don't want it. Which this turned out better than it has in a while. So that needs to set for a bit. And when it's set, I can then seal it. Okay, final step. Scenic cement is a sprayer brush on adhesive. And eyedropper. Glass, glass eyedropper, plastic will just a bundle of plastic quickly. And clog it up so just carefully drip it in. The materials will soak this right up. So it'll look moist. You need to let this sit, otherwise, this will push around your basic material and make holes. This will just clean out thoroughly when you're done. And that is it, a Space Marine Captain in Terminator armor. Okay, so more Space Marines on the way. Until next time, I am Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, signing out.